YouTube, this is DOG2012, and today I will be continuing my little dashy. The entire walk back, I kept an eye out for other people who could pass by me. I don't want anyone else to see her. I have no way of knowing how they would react. As usual, though, I don't see a single person. It's midnight by the time I get home. Fortunately for a wolf, I turned on my porch light. Otherwise, I might have passed it, being one of the few occupied homes on the block meant a lot of darkness. The city even stopped running power to the streetlights, so that made it all the more difficult. I glanced down at the filly, who continued to sleep on my jacket as I carried her. She was no longer shivering and felt quite warm. I walk up to my porch, careful not to make too much noise, as I get my keys out. I unlock the two dead bolts, the master lock, and finally the doorknob and open my door. It is dark inside, due to me leaving well it was still light out. With a flick of the switch, a single bulb in the hallway comes to life, shedding some light into the living room. Most of my furnishings are my parents. Then again, so is the house. I became the owner after their passing, and have done what I can to keep it that way. Still with the fill of rainbow dash in my arm, I walk into the living room. As I pass my family portrait, I greet it with a, Hello, Mom. Hello, Dad. I know they aren't there, but knowing that they loved me and that I love them helps me stay sane and to keep up in my miserable life. As I enter the living room, I can feel stirring in my arm. She had woken up, most likely when I had turned on the light and is now getting antsy. With no idea what to do or how to tackle the situation, I set her down on the couch. Immediately, she jumps out of the jacket and looks around, already investigating her surroundings. I continue to watch her as she explores the couch, then continues to the coffee table. What are you doing in my world? I didn't mean to ask it out loud, but it just sort of happens every now and then. Only seen my few friends once in a great, great while. I find myself talking to, well, myself a lot. I don't own a pet because that just means more money to dish out on and I'm already struggling as it is. From my question, the only response is another blank look on her face that tells me she has no clue either. And again, what else should I expect from a filly that can't even talk yet? Are you lost? That moment the words left my mouth, her ears fell and she looked at to the ground. Oh. The realization strikes that she has no clue what is going on, whether she is who I am or anything else. She's beyond the word lost. She is misplaced. Well, until something happens, I guess you can, um, stay with me. I see how she lifts her head, ears start staring erect once again, and looks at me with worry. My words don't sound too that encouraging, so I throw on a smile as I speak. Don't worry, I'm sure whatever brought you here will fix itself within time. We just gotta wait. Is that, okay? Is that alright? I'm not sure why I asked that, but it seems to do the trick. Her ears perk right up and she smiles. The next few hours I spent giving her the grand tour of my house. Nothing amazing to see, and I have already taken her to my room out of fear that the large amount of dirty clothes would swallow her up. Afterwards, I give her something to eat. I break up some small carrots and amazingly I discover she has some teeth. Since she is still a filly, I wasn't sure that she could eat solid foods such as carrots. Yet, then again, she is from a cartoon so I do not know what is correct for her anyway. Satisfied with the food, she finds a comfortable spot on my father's recliner and sits. I don't mind. It's not like I sit in it or anything. I was never allowed to when he was alive, so why should that change even after his passing? It's his chair, but I'm not going to mean, be mean to the filly for not knowing that. So I let her sit where she is most comfortable. I also give her a small blanket to wrap herself in due to my house's current temperature. It's not as cold as it is outside, but my furnace has had problems since before my parents' passing. There was a trick to fixing it, but it died with my father. I must have fallen asleep at some point, honestly expecting myself to be wide awake due to such an interesting event. But after the long hours at work and staying up 
to take care of him, Dash, my body had other plans. I'm not sure how I was out before I awoke, but it doesn't matter. As I close my eyes, I feel something against my side. I look and see beside me is a small cyan filly. Her rainbow mane and tail still, her head resting on the inside of my elbow. I know the meme gets old, but I must say it. My heart exploded again. Laying there, sleeping and curled up beside me, had me smiling ear to ear. Her gentle breaths I barely heard. The hairs on her mane tickled my arm. But I back and bitch. One body, one body, we are. Though two months isn't a long time. It's how long I had wanted a moment. Moment like this. My own little pony. A rainbow dash plushie to sleep with and hold tight. And now I have a real rainbow dash. A filly. Sleeping at my side. Content as though she's known me since birth. Right now, there's nothing else that matters to me. My despair, my sore feet, and painful heart all go unnoticed as nothing else comes remotely close to the feeling I have right now. This joy I am experiencing at this moment as I lay awake on my couch. She is here. She is real. Right now, she is my little pony. She is my little dashy. It has only been only four months since I brought the young Rainbow Dash into my home. I've done... Okay. Okay, I've done little research I could on the matter, but I have come to no conclusions. I have no idea why she is here, and quite frankly, I don't even care anymore. These few months with her have been the most amazing time of my life. She has opened my heart up to love and joy, among other things right now. She sits next to me on the couch as I watch television. She seems to enjoy the morning cartoons on the local stations, and I myself have come to enjoy them. She acts much like a young child would. Then again, why wouldn't she? Another amazing feat is she has been learning to talk. I'm not much of a teacher, or for the matter, 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 a parent, but I am doing my best to help her learn to speak and read. I do, I don't know how even would get to teach her how to write from the show they did with their mouths but I would let that go for now once she is a little older older if I even have it that long I'll do what I can to teach her later it used to be that a year would go by slowly I would take forward to the new years in hopes of getting a fresh start now though I feel as if the year went by a little too quickly for me. I decided, since I have no knowledge of her actual birth date, I'll make the day I found her her birthday, September the 17th. Oddly enough, that's this very same day the second season of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic aired last year. I quit watching the show after Dashie came to my life. There was no reason for me to continue, and honestly, I don't have much time to myself anymore. It would be hard to hide me watching the show, and even harder to explain the situation if she would ever see it. Especially at her current age, she knew her name was Rainbow Dash. But, I have come to calling him Pinky's pet name, Dashy, And she has no problem with it. She can fully communicate with me now, as well as read English. And she's even starting to learn how to write with, you guessed it, her mouth. I tried to invent some sort of device for her hoof so that she could write, but it seems writing with her mouth is more natural than moving her hoof around. One thing now troubles me with her. Every day she sits at the window, looking outside. I'm not worried about her being seen by passerbys. I'm on a dead-end street, so that's the least of my worries. Still though, she doesn't say anything to me yet. I can see her hunger for fresh air in her eyes. I can't keep her in here her entire life. <laughs> I keep on talking like she's going to be with me forever. That isn't true. One day, someday, she will return home, whether it is a simple poof and she's gone, or though some magical spell and Twilight shows up and takes her home and fixes everything. In my heart, I hope that never happens. In my head, I know to get her outside soon. I've been checking out some of the abandoned lots and former parks on my way to and from work, seeing where the best location would be to take her. 
Oddly enough, it seems the park I had played at growing up is the best option. That shall be it then. I shall take her to the park. How will I get her there, though? She is still relatively small, so I can, so she can be hidden inside a jacket or something. Tomorrow, I suppose it's supposed to be a nice day, anyways. Mm. She did it. After two years in my care and having absolutely no knowledge of flight myself, I helped her learn to fly. She can gotten quite big in a couple of years. Wait a second, I need to turn this down. Okay. Yeah. She gotten quite big only a couple of years, and it was going to get hard to hide her when we walked to the park. I got so desperate to keep her hidden, I bought a dog costume for her to put on so she w so she could walk there unnoticed. She was not happy, so I got some books from the library and read up on teaching birds to fly. I would have to look on the internet, but I fear she would become curious of it herself. There are a lot of horrors on the internet. She's not ready for it. In hindsight, it's bad enough she's experiencing television, but she has come to enjoy Spongebob and NASCAR too much for me to take that away from her. But to the flying, I've been taking her to the old park for weeks in hopes I can help her learn how to fly. There is a large tree there with branches sticking out over a sandbox. The perfect spot for her to practice. If she falls and I can't catch her, at least she'll have something remotely soft to land on. She fell a lot. I knew that she would fall a lot. There were many scrapes, cuts, and bruises towards her goal. But finally, after many weeks of work, she flew. It was only a short distance, about 50 feet. But she still did it. She's a little scraped up, but she's beaming with pride. Maybe now she can fly overhead so that a f so that few people on the ground don't notice her. I have to see if I can manipulate clouds. If she can manipulate clouds like she could in the snow. Okay, um. Like she could in the show. It would make it much easier to take her places. Take her places. Then she could hide on a cloud as we go to the park. Another thing that has been brought to my attention, she asked me about having her own room. I got to thinking and realized the house does have a spare bedroom. Though my parents had filled it with my old school stuff, but my younger years also is she might be getting older. Not sure anything will be for her. If she has her own room, I can get her own things so that she can feel somewhat normal. She's pretty smart for a filly and knows about the difference between our species, but she still knows nothing about her origin. She's not ready yet. The only thing I can do is keep her happy. I only wish I had the things to buy her. I only wish I had a way to buy her the things she wants. Okay. No, I'm just gonna keep this for a long, long time. This might take like 30 minutes, just to let you know. Okay. If you told me for four years ago I'd been taking care of a cartoon rainbow-colored pony, I'd call you insane. I probably am in all reality, but I don't care. I'm happy. She's happy. Today is a day for celebration. For day, my little dashie got a cutie mark. I honestly didn't know how to tackle that fact. She didn't even know what it was until I explained to her. Now she's even more ecstatic than before. It was a normal park outing. But this time she decided she wanted to see how high she can get. I limited her, limited her to how high she could fly, but honestly, I can't do anything about about what she does up there. I can't fly, so the most I can do is tell her to be careful. Somewhere she got it in her head to see just how fast she can fly, probably due to her being a big NASCAR fan and well a general racing fan for some time she was trying to make up tricks and stunts of her own giving them names i'd just sit on a bench i'd fixed up to cheer her on no one was ever around anymore in fact on that block i think the last person left over a year ago there are rumors that the entire area is going to be brought out by some company however all of this turned into a large manufacturing area. I don't know how I would feel about that. But it's not important right now. I'm so overcome with joy that my dashie now knows her place.
Granted, this is isn't her world. She's still some Rainbow Dash. She's the, still the same Rainbow Dash from the show. Regardless of how I raised her, she still has that same spunking attitude from the show. And now she has her cutie mark. Anyway, she climbed to quite a height in an attempt to gain speed from the fall. Well, all the right things factored for her right now. Now she posi positioned herself, her mental focus, and po possi possibly me on the ground, watching and cheering her on. But she did it. She broke the sound barrier and created a sonic rain boom overhead. Now I didn't even... I didn't even imagine it was possible to accomplish such a feat in my world. I know you can break the sound barrier, but actually do the rainbow part two? My mind is blown. So the intentional explosion brought upon many broken windows and sent off cars and alarms in the next county. I quickly rushed her up and we rushed home before anyone could arrive at the park. I was lucky none of my windows were broken. The rest of the day was spent celebrating. It just so happens today was her fourth birthday. It had, I have no way of knowing how old she actually was when I got her, so I just started over. I would have, I would have bought a cake, but due to the boom and all, due to the boom, all the businesses were closed and needed new windows, so we made a cake of our own. Apparently, the fan fiction writers got it right. She can't bake at all. Granted, I'm not the best myself, but it was still a mess. We had fun. She enjoyed herself, and she is happy. Therefore, I am happy. Though there was her highlight of the day. I was just moments ago. She has now come accustomed to sleeping in her own room versus with me on the couch. I actually stopped sleeping in my room kept her company in the living room until recently. Now I can sleep on my own bed once more. But I keep my door unlocked so if she needs me, she can get me. I just tucked her into bed and told her good night when she said it. Good night, Daddy. I love you. I didn't been on the internet in what, three years now? I don't know how the My Little Pony thing the online is going or what memes are still alive or not. But damn it, I'm gonna say it because it's true. My heart exploded twice. For the first time, not only did she call me daddy, which she has done on occasions, but she even said, I love you. For a moment, I didn't know what to say or what to do. I'd never been in this sort of situation before, but I remembered what my mother and father used to do. So I leaned down, kissed her on the forehead, told her the same thing. Good night, Milo Dashy. I love you too. She smiled at me and then closed her eyes to sleep. I walked out, turned off her light, making sure her SpongeBob nightlight was on. Of course, closed her door. Closed her door, then sat down on my couch. I hadn't moved for about for about an hour now. I'm so lost in thought. The few times she had called me daddy, I didn't think anything of it. I could picture why she called me that. Being with her so much made her accept it was part of taking care of her. But tonight, when she said those three words, the realization finally sunk into my heart. I am her daddy. She considers me her daddy. And quite frankly, I consider her my daughter. Even though we are of totally different species, I still love her with all my heart. And it has taken her to speak those words to me for me to finally realize that. I think I have finally done it. I've broken my hard shell that I had formed while my parents died and led a sweet little filly into my life. I gave her a home to live and food to eat and now a daddy to love. She has given me hope, love, compassion, and now something I thought I'd never utter, a daughter. I still speculate when the time is going to arise, and then she goes back to Equestria. And each day, it gets harder for me to imagine when that actually happens. I just hope that she never forgets me because I will never forget her. Okay, where the fuck was I? I believe Dashi is now at her full size, rounding in about three feet tall. She is a fully grown. Though she is still only ten years old. According to my math, I believe she is actually more along the lines of fourteen or fifteen. Possibly in actual years. 
some. So we celebrated five missed birthdays and officially moving day. Oh god, sure I've eaten that pizza. Okay. <clears throat> That's right, moving day. We moved from my parents' house thanks to me finally saving up enough money. Let's getting lucky at a casino. We bought a nice house a hundred miles away from the city. I got a lot of open land. There isn't another house within five miles. And it is just for me and her. Now she can fly around all she wants. Whenever she wants. She is truly happy. Though she does miss the old park. It's gone now. Along with everything else. A large business bought all of the land and flattened it and built a large factory there. It was an amazing boom to the economy, and people are starting to build homes again. I'm glad, but it wasn't for us. The amount of people would hinder her going outside, and I'm not going to force her to stay inside all day unless it's raining out. I've gotten a new job, one that pays much more than my old one. Dash even talked about getting a job, but then she remembered what I told her. The look on her face was heartbreaking. We were enjoying a cake we made, which I must add we have improved upon that skill. When she brought it up, I jokingly said that she can't due to her being a pony, and I laughed. She remained silent. My god. <clears throat> my god, I'm horrible. I just laughed because my daughter was different. I apologize for hours, and even though she says she understands, I know she is still hurt. Luckily, I have a way to fix this. Due to the sh sheer size of the property, it involves a lot of cutting of grass. Tomorrow, I would modify. Um, I would modify the lawnmower for her to use, so that she could have a job, or even pay her so that she can buy her own stuff if she wants. Though I'd have to get it for her. She, she still, still, she could actually say she worked for something. According to the show, she was a weather pony. And I don't have her mess with Mother Nature unless it is a dire emergency. So that it isn't really any job to be had there. I still can't believe I've had her for 10 years now. My god, time, got, time goes by so fast. I wish it would slow down so that I could have one more time with her. I don't know when, but I have the sun feeling our time together is running out. All of this has been too good to be true. Today has to have been the worst time of my life, even more than when my parents died. Due to the events, I could not have, I could not prepare for it. Dashie found out the truth before. I could tell her myself. She knows what she is. A made-up cartoon character from a kid's television show? She is mad. Not upset beyond all thought. She, well, she is upset beyond all thought. She had locked herself in a room. But I know my daughter. She didn't stay there for long. She opened her window and flew off probably into a tree to sulk in all sorrow. I'm a monster. I should have told her sooner. I just wasn't sure... When would be the right time? Now we are both suffering from my carelessness. I thought getting cable would be a good thing. Give her some more shows to watch. But what I didn't realize that they that we got the hub station. I wasn't even aware it was still up. And find to my surprise, the show My Little Pony is still even airing. It had stopped at eight seasons, but still it was repeated. I remember I walked in from work with some groceries, set them in the kitchen, and walked into the living room. That's when I saw it. <clears throat> Yay, she did it! Flush had screamed, jumped with joy as Applejack, Twilight, and Pinkie Pie all sat in the clouds with dumbfounded looks on their faces. My heart sank. I knew this episode. I remembered this episode. Even after seeing nothing 12 years, I still remembered this damn episode. In that episode, Rainbow Dash performs the Sonic Rainbow, much like how my Dashie had years ago. At the time, I was still holding my keys, and I dropped them. They clanged on the wood floor, 
If she didn't know I was home, she knew now. <clears throat> How long? Dashie asked me with no emotion in her voice. I... How long have you known about this? I... Dashie turned to look at me. She had been quiet, crying. Crying? Crying. It means even then, How have you known about this? Dashie cheek as she yelled at me. This was the first time in all these years that she had raised her voice at me. And I deserved every bit of it. So I sat down, turned off the television, told her everything. I told her about the show, about finding her, and answered any other questions she had for me. There were a lot. Most of them stemmed from the show, to which I simply told her that told her what I truly believed. That though she is the Rainbow Dash from the show, that she herself is a different pony from the cartoon. Different pony from the cartoon. I tried to explain it to her, but her bullheadedness took over and she continued to lash at me. I took it all. I deserved it all. I'd been keeping this whole secret from her for far too long. She is now a fully grown mare capable of taking care of herself. If she were in Equestria here, I'd treat her still like she was my little filly. That had been wrong of me, but I couldn't help it. I didn't want this to ever happen, but I knew it would. I should have done what was right, but I didn't. It was only a matter of time before she found out, and she knew she was different. After our argument, she flew upstairs into her bedroom and slammed her door shut. I checked on her an hour later, and no response told me that she had flown out. I can only hope that she comes back, or at least she doesn't... If she doesn't, she stays away from any other people. If anything, I hope some sort of portal comes... Opens up and she goes back to her world and never has to think of me again. All I can say to her at this point is, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.